NASA just announced the cancellation of the SLS. I'm Alien Beyond, and come along with me to dive into the details of this story that's going to shake the world of space exploration. The Space Launch System, SLS, was initially conceived as NASA's next-generation heavy-lift rocket, designed to return astronauts to the moon under the Artemis program, and, in the long term, facilitate human exploration of Mars. The SLS is part of NASA's ambitious goal to maintain leadership in space exploration while ensuring that the United States remains at the forefront of technological advancements in space. The SLS was initially envisioned as a powerful and reliable rocket capable of launching astronauts aboard the Orion capsule for deep space missions. Its primary mission was to serve as the primary vehicle for the Artemis program, which aims to return astronauts to the moon by the mid-2020s. It was conceived as an answer to the challenges of launching beyond Earth's low orbit, providing the necessary payload capacity and performance to push humanity further into space. The SLS was designed to be the most powerful rocket ever built, capable of carrying heavy payloads into space. With an initial projected payload capacity of 70 metric tons, it would later be upgraded to an even greater capacity of 130 metric tons. This would make the SLS not only a tool for the Artemis missions, NASA hopes to test new technologies and operations that will be crucial for future human missions to Mars. This includes advancements in life support systems, energy generation, and resource utilization on the moon, which could be used for producing water and oxygen. A key feature of the Artemis program is international collaboration. NASA has partnered with various space agencies, including the European Space Agency, ESA, Japan's JAXA, and Canada's CSA. SLS has been plagued by significant delays and escalating costs, making the rocket increasingly difficult to justify as a reliable and cost-effective solution for NASA's exploration goals. Initially, the SLS was intended to be a fast-track solution for NASA's deep space exploration ambitions, providing a heavy-lift rocket capable of sending astronauts and cargo to the moon and beyond. However, over time, it became clear that the SLS project would face hurdles that would not only delay its development, but also drive up its costs to unsustainable levels. When the SLS was first conceived in the early 2010s, NASA estimated the total cost of developing and building the rocket to be around $10 billion, with a goal to launch its first mission by 2016. However, as the years passed, the timeline for the first launch stretched out further and further. As of 2025, the program's costs have ballooned to over $23 billion, with estimates indicating that each SLS launch could cost upwards of $2 billion. This dramatic increase in costs raised alarms within NASA, as well as among members of Congress and the public, who began to question whether the SLS was the best use of taxpayer money. One of the main reasons for the cost overruns was the complexity of the SLS rocket itself. Designed to be the most powerful launch vehicle ever built, the SLS requires sophisticated technologies, materials, and engineering solutions many of which have never been used before in such large-scale space missions. The rocket's design, which includes multiple stages, massive engines, and intricate components, contributed to long development times and frequent technical challenges. Furthermore, the SLS faced delays due to issues with its main contractors, including Boeing and Northrop Grumman. Boeing, which was responsible for the design and construction of the rocket's core stage, encountered difficulties with manufacturing and assembly, which pushed back the timeline for its completion. Northrop Grumman, which was responsible for building the solid rocket boosters, also faced delays in its production process. These challenges, combined with bureaucratic hurdles and changing priorities within NASA, led to further setbacks. The high costs and delays surrounding the SLS led to increasing criticism from both within NASA and from the U.S. government. Many began to argue that the rocket, which was being developed primarily by government contractors, was too expensive and inflexible for the rapidly evolving needs of space exploration. Partnerships with private companies such as SpaceX could be the key to making missions more frequent and accessible. The future of space exploration is constantly evolving, and NASA's decision may redefine how crewed missions are conducted in the coming decades. Whether with the SLS or new approaches, the important thing is that we are closer than ever to setting foot on the moon again. This was another video from Alien Beyond.
bringing you the latest updates on rockets and space exploration. See you next time.